Hi, it's Chester Tuckerwell uh, at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Uh, we're going to look at uh, using wildcard criteria within the countifs function, and everything I'm going to show you will also apply to sumifs. We've got a little database here: product codes, expiry date, quantity. We've got a reorder threshold of 50 pounds, uh, 50 rather, and we want to know how many products with this additional set of criteria. Um, we need to reorder. So first of all, I only want to reorder, look at those product codes that have text product codes as opposed to numeric product codes uh, with an order threshold of 50 of less. Uh, yeah, with uh, that need to be reordered. So something with less than 50. So quantity first of all. Nice little shortcut key for you, by the way. Um, if I select the first value in the column and use Control Shift and arrow key. That selects down to one last consecutive value in that column. And what I'm going to say is less than this value here. Done a nice little video on comparison operators and using this concatenate function with lampersand. The base of that joins the value in this cell with this comparison operator. Now we're on to our wildcards though. So control shift down arrow key selects the product code column. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm only looking for text values. How about that? In quotation marks and asterisks. Close the bracket. Seven. So is that true? So if I say less than fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, correct. Now, what about numbers? Well, let me just copy this over. See what I have to change for that. Well, if I just did not numbers, do you know that um, little comparison operator there? Not equal to, so that's less than, greater than. You see it there as well, less than, greater than. Three, so did I get three? Three numeric product codes, yeah, there we are. Three of them there, so that's not numeric and uh, not text values, so numeric values in this instance. Okay, so that's working. So it starts with ABC. So what I'm looking for is any product codes that start with ABC. Now it's not te text sensitive, this, so uh, case sensitive, rather, not text sensitive, case sensitive. So it should pick up the upper and lower case versions. So what I'm going to do is just click in here, paste in my beginnings of my formula. I'm just going to change the criteria for the last uh, criteria range. So we're going to say anything that starts with ABC. And all I have to do in quotation marks is say ABC asterisk quotation marks. Okay, so that's anything that starts with ABC. Just put that little asterisk after the ABC. Four. Let's see if that's right. Is it right? Less than one, two, three, four. So it picked up the upper and lowest case versions, and you can see that that is indeed correct. What about ends with one, two, three? Well, what I would do is I would change this bit. Ends with. Well, I'd say asterisk first. So in quotation marks again, so it's quotation mark asterisk one, two, three. So you put the asterisk at the beginning if you want to look for something that ends with, and I put the whole thing in quotation mark. One, is that correct? Just have a little look. What am I doing? Less than 50. Ends with one, two, three. There we are. Just the one. Contains cheese. Okay, let's take this filter off. So, what I'm going to do is change the last criteria there. Contains cheese, so one, two, three. I've got three, I've not seen the other, so I'm looking for three as my answer. Uh, but only those that are less than 15 quantity columns, so maybe it's one. 
Now, how do I do that? Well, quotation marks again. Now, all I do, if it's contains, I'm not sure where cheese is going to appear, so I put two, quote, uh, two asterisks either side of the word cheese. Again, in quotation marks, it brings up the one, which is where we were expecting. And the one, where the reorder value is less than 50. The quantity is less than 50. Now, this one's interesting. What I'm doing is looking for a pattern of characters now. So, I want the fourth, fifth, and sixth characters. I don't know what they're going to be, but the first, second, and third are ABC, and then the last ones are one, two, four. Not necessarily the last ones. It will be what would it be? It would be the seventh, eighth, and ninth characters. Or one, two, four. So um, how am I going to do that? Well, let's paste in that formula again, and we are going to say basically. A, B, C starts with A, B, C, and then the fourth, fifth, and sixth characters. We don't mind what they are. One, two, four comes after that. Two, is that true? Let's have a little look. So, what have we got? Yes, we've got two there. So, we've got ham and milk in there. That's what it's picked up. So I'll look at that again. In quotation marks, A, B, C. Then I don't care what's in the fourth or fifth or sixth places. But then after that, one, two, four. Picks that up. Right, last one. We're going to use something called the tilde character. Now this is where we want to pick up, where we want to specify either a question mark or an asterisk as criteria. So normally, you know, if we use a We've seen if we use an asterisk or we use a, a question mark, then Excel thinks that we're using that as syntax for our criteria. But what if we're actually looking for those characters? For example, down here I've got a question mark here, and I want to, I want to pick that up in my criteria. Well, you use that tilde to say, yeah, look for that literal character rather than treat it as a wildcard character. So we'll have a look. So we don't care where that question mark is. It might be where it's or in the middle, it might be at the end, whatever. We're just looking for it. So I'm going to say, well, let's paste it in. All you've got to do is basically say, I'm looking for it anywhere. It's got to be start with an asterisk, then tilde. Now tilde, if you're looking for where that is on your your keyboard, it's on the same key as the hash key, which is just the left of your return or enter key. So we're going to say tilde, question mark, asterisk. So it contains a question mark somewhere. That's basically what we're saying. One. And if I put a question mark somewhere else, there's something else that was less than 50. Maybe I'll put it in here. It should pick up two. It does, in fact, pick up two. Okay, so that was a little bit of a tour de force of using wildcard characters um, within uh, the COUNTIF function. Everything will also, everything I've shown you will also apply to the SUMS function. Thank you very much.